Number nine, Baylor men's basketball lost to unranked Kansas State. It's life in the Big 12. I mean, and the final score is 68 to 64, but both of these teams were tied up at 54 piece after regulation. And I will say Baylor had a six point lead in regulation and they blew it. I'm just calling the way it is and let Kansas State come back. When you look at the last two minutes of regulation here, Baylor was up 51 to 45, and there was a foul on Ray J. Dennis. Cam Carter made one out of two free throws. Linkson Love missed a, a layup, which was blocked by Will McNair. Cam Love missed a three. Joshua Juwuna missed a layup. Yeah. And it was a foul on Jalen Britt. Jane Nunn made one out of two free throws after Tyler Perry fouled with 1.57 left. And K-State called timeout. 1.54 after Camilla made a layup. Right back. Ray J. Dennis missed a layup. And Josh Ujawuna turned the ball over. Tyler Perry gave it to Cam Carter with 1.18 left. And he made a layup. And there was a foul on the play by Josh Ujawuna. If he didn't foul, that would have been fine. To be 52-50 instead of 50 Two to 51, which Cam Carter made the free throw. Then Langston Love, for around 47 seconds left, missed it. A jumper, then there was a foul on Josh Ujawin around 34 seconds left, which is like, I don't know. Why did you foul due to a good free throw shooter? And Tyler Perry, he made both of those free throws, but it's around 16 seconds left. Jay Nunn made a layup, which was assisted by Ray J. Dennis, but then around 14 seconds, Jay Nunn fouled. If Baylor didn't, that was basically giving them a chance to go to the free throw line and potentially win the game in regulation. But Tyler Perry missed his only free throw of the night, but he made the second one. Jay Nunn tried to do a step back three, and he missed it. I, I side and bounce. So. And Joe Bridges got the rebound. Yeah. And I'm just going to go over the, that. That was regulation. I'm going to go over the overtime in the last two and a half minutes. Like two minutes, 33 seconds left. Like Will McNair got a defensive rebound after Ease Missy missed a layup, which Will McNair made a layup. And it was just assisted by Tyler Perry with 225 left. Langston Love made a layup assisted by Jalen Bridges. K State called timeout with 138 left. Dorian fin Finister. Mr. Layup, Jacoby Walter got the rebound and won 12 left. Dennis, AJ Dennis made a layup. So Baylor was up 64 to 59. And as you could tell by the score, K State went on a 9 0 run, but I'm going to explain the sequence. 102 left. RJ Jones, who hasn't scored a lot since December. I don't remember, like, one of those games in December, I don't remember which. They said it on the broadcast. Made a three, assisted by Dorian Finister to get it down to two, 64 to 62. Then K State called timeout. 36 left, seconds left. Ray J. Dennis missed a layup, but offensive rebound by Ease Missy, but he missed a layup. And R.J. Jones has got the defensive rebound. And around 26 seconds left. Dorian Finister attempted a three, but missed it. But David New Gusson for Kansas State, around 22 seconds left, got the offensive rebound. Then after Arthur Campbell for Kansas State made a three, and he got fouled on the play by Jacoby Walter. And in that situation, Baylor needed a rebound, and they probably would have won the game and would have prevented the four-point play to, from happening. And Arthur Campbell made the free throw, and then Langston Love tried a three with around 12 seconds and defensive rebound. By Tyler Perry, around seven seconds left, Jacoby Walter fouled. Around six seconds, Tyler Perry made a throw to the free throws, and that was practically game. Yeah, it was a back and forth game, very physical on both sides. Now I'm going to go over the stats for the game. And points in the paint favor of Baylor in this game, 38 to 28. Fast break points, 14 for Kansas State. Baylor with three. Ooh, that has to be correct. The points out turnovers. 14-11 in favor of Baylor. So, 
that's part of the reason there. And Baylor had a, the, the biggest lead of the game with eight, and Kansas State only led by one. That was by four points, but that was in, in overtime. And Baylor did not shoot the ball good in this game. 33.8% from the field on 74 attempts, 19.2% on threes on 26 attempts, which is five makes. They were not making their threes. But they drove to the basket, in which they needed to do that more, in my opinion, in the second half when they were just struggling from three early on. But what's appalling is the free throw percentage. 47.4% on free throws on 19 attempts. Are you kidding me? One more made free throw in regulation, Baylor had a chance to win the game. Besides, in overtime, I mean, I'm not going to say for sure overtime. Overtime was prevent the four-point play from happening and do a foul game. And then we'll play on and see what happens. 46 rebounds for Baylor, 22 of those offensive. They were killing the glass. 14 assists, 4 steals, 3 blocks, 11 turnovers, which is not a ton. It really isn't a ton when compared to Kansas State and 19 fouls for Baylor and 22 points off the bench and only two double-digit scores are combined for 26 points. However, the rest of the team scored the 64 minus 26. That's the, whatever that I should know the number. 38 points. Yeah. That, like, that's one, two, three, four, five guys to be exact that combined for 38 points with six points or more. K State had 14 points off the bench and three double digit scores that combined for 48 points. And Cam Carter actually fouled out, by the way. And K State shot better than Baylor, 40.7% from the field on 54 attempts. Baylor took 20 more shots. But they couldn't win the game. And Kansas State made more threes anyway. 30.4% from the three-point line on 23 attempts. So that's 7-3. made threes. And they made their free throws unlike Baylor's. 77.3% from the free throw line on 22 attempts. 40 rebounds. Now those offensive. 14 assists. 7 steals. 3 blocks. 17 turnovers. 17 fouls. And I am sure Scott Drew and staff are not happy with the free throws percentage in this game. And how in the world did they blow the game they blew it i mean i just call it the way it is and yes in kansas state made plays to win the game too don't get me wrong but baylor had only needed one more stop on defense and get that rebound do foul game and we'll see what happens from there and we probably and it would have prevented the four points right there four point play at the time which was huge and now what does Baylor have going the next five games? On the road to Texas, that's receiving votes. Not going to be an easy game. It's, yeah, then number 19 TCU at home. And then, which luckily, it's a week after the Texas game, so they could correct some stuff. I mean, that's the truth. They got UCF on the road, and UCF beat Kansas and nearly beat BYU. So I'm not going to sleep on. You cannot sleep on any opponent in the Big 12. Even if it's West Virginia, I don't care. You got Iowa State at home, then Texas Tech at home, then go on the road to Kansas. So, what does Kansas State have going up next? You got Oklahoma State at home, probably one of the worst teams in the conference. You got Iowa State on the road. You got Houston on the road. You got Oklahoma at home. And Oklahoma State but it's on the road. But like I said, you cannot take any game for granted. Man, it hurts to have a game like this that Baylor has won the last three times against Big 12 opponents. Close games like this. And it one goes against you. I knew eventually what Baylor was going to lose a conference game. All right, I already knew the Big 12 is going to be too tough to go undefeated. And to think about, like, two conference losses, yeah, I knew that was not going to happen. That's probably not going to happen. I'm just telling the truth. And it's important for these guys to learn from this 
this game and get ready for Austin, Texas. Texas is desperate. I mean, they might miss the NCAA tournament. And K-State could have missed the NCAA tournament now. They got this re resume boosting win. Win here. I mean, I'm just telling the truth. And eventually, Scott Drew is going to be, be Jerome Tang. It's a matter of when, not if. I really do think it's going to happen eventually. And luckily for Scott Drew, he doesn't have to play against Jerome Tang the rest of the regular season. And same thing goes for Tang. It's, it's so hard when you're going against your former colleague, your former boss, and... You know Jerome Tang lost to Grant McCaslin and they were on staff together at Baylor. So he, I knew going to this game that Kansas State was going to play angry. And I, I was right. And there, this game was not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm going to definitely emphasize in that preview against Texas, the free throw shooting. And getting one more rebound if you need it on defense in a tight situation. And I'm going to address that going forward. Because, look, you cannot shoot free throws like that and expect to win the game. You can shoot poorly and find a way to win. They did that against Cincinnati at home. They did that against Oklahoma State on the road. And I don't get why the commentator said this was the first overtime game for Baylor. That's not, that's not correct. Look at their schedule. I mean, I don't care who made that mistake. And I think it was Chris Capul. It's that former Army player you're talk I'm talking about in a commentated BYU game. I mean, I'm telling the truth. They're now 1-1 one and one in overtime, and Kansas State remains perfect in overtime. But eventually, Kansas State's going to lose an, an overtime game. It's bound to happen. Because they're playing against the, the odds on that. So, anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Scores ultimate goal is a thousand more. So, many money out to score. Like and view. Comment video really helps the YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit subscribe button. It's free. Hit the notification bell as well.